Hey guys, welcome to day 105 of my carnivore journey. And of course, um, as many of you know, in the last two days, I have been sick. I'm still sick, although I'm, you know, I feel like I'm on the road to recovery. I've had many different um, opinions, uh, advice, tips from you guys. You guys have been lovely. Most all of you have been, had some some great tips. Of course, I'm not going to be able to implement all of them. However, I have been fasting. Um, I feel like in general, a majority of the tips were revolving around fasting. Some people talked about it intermittent. Some people talked about water fast, bone broth fast, a little bit of everything. So I've just been doing a water fast. I've been drinking nothing but ice water. I haven't really felt like eating anything right now. Um, but it's been working so far. Um, I've just, that's really about it. Just drinking ice water right here. So instead of my coffee, just if you can see that without spilling it, <laughs> just ice water. Haven't, you know, the whole time I haven't had fevers. Now I have had COVID a few times in the past. Um, COVID's like an outdated thing nowadays. It's like, you know, the way I look at it is there's a regular, you know, there's regular sicknesses that that hang around, right? The flu, um, cold, the common cold, you know, all these things come back and they, they sort of are on repeat, repeat. Coronavirus is probably here to stay. You know, it's probably here to stay as part of regular sickness. And now it's to the point where it's. You know, it, it can be handled. I'm not worried about that. But <clears throat> I haven't had any fevers, um, no achiness, nothing like that, no fevers. Uh, I think I, I already repeated that. But as far as other symptoms go, it, it has not, there's no wheezing in my chest. You know, like when you do the, <laughs> you know, there's no wheezing. Um, mostly it's just been some like sinus congestion which even that hasn't been real bad. Like, believe it or not, even my congestion hasn't been real bad, just drainage. So a lot of it to me is like sinuses, maybe even some allergies. You know, we are, we've had some crazy warm weather for this time of year. And I mean, who knows? But I am fasting just in case there's anything bacterial wise, infection wise. Um, and, and plus, you know, I think that the fasting is going to help with everything. Um, period. Now, so with that out of the way, there's not much to tell you as far as what I ate. Normally, guys like to tell you what I eat and how I feel. I don't, again, today I feel pretty well. Um, this is the day two of fasting, so I haven't eaten anything since, um, what is it, Sunday? So Friday night? I think Friday night was the last time I ate something uh, when I did that video and, I, and told you guys I was sick. And I think that day I had some meat and everything, which the food, you know, food went down well, you know, all that stuff. Kind of sucks that I chose to fast because I just made all those bacon chips. I have a bunch of bacon in the fridge, so hopefully it'll, it'll last a little bit. So um, how long I'm going to fast, I don't know. Seven days keeps popping up in my head. We'll just see how I feel. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to, I'm not going to set like a, a goal yet. Um, also... I got my Redmond's Real Salt in the mail the other day. I was going to tell you guys, I got this actually just um, the other day, but I was sick and not feeling good. I forgot. But I wanted to show you guys. It came in, and I got two of these for like 12 bucks, and which to me is a little high, I think. But at the same time, I think it's worth it. It's very pretty good size. Um, this is the 10 ounce. So I got 20 ounces for like 12 bucks. But the the lid's got a couple different settings on there, you can see. And this is more of the fine, like the table salt version. The the stuff I ordered before, it was pretty, it was, it was coarse. So when I would try to put some of it on like uh my egg or you know, my hard boiled egg or something like that, it was just it was too gritty, very potent. Now I've got the 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 fine table salt version. So that's gonna make my life. Uh, even better. So it's more of a quality of life thing. But Redmond Salt's awesome so far. Really enjoy it. Very um, potent for salt. You know, because sometimes, you know, like you, you'd try other salt 
substitutes or whatever you want to call them, other sea salts. And sometimes it just seemed like you needed quite a bit of salt to, to get any type of saltiness. With this, you don't have to worry about that. You're going to get there. <laughs> um, okay, what else? Keep on with everything. If you are struggling, again, just, just keep on. All right, don't give up. Again, this is what a community is for. Come in here, talk, ask questions, hit me up, whatever it takes. Right. All right. So we need to get, we, I think we should probably get to an inspirational quote. What do you guys think? We should, uh, I've been trying to do, you guys, do you guys enjoy the inspirational quote uh, portion of this? I, I hope it's helping. Um, this is from Marcus Aurelius. All right. And here we go. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. Mm -hmm. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. So think about that. I mean, you know, for me, obviously, if you're self-doubting, if you are having bad thoughts and things like that, then you're going, that's going to project into your everyday life. It's hard to maintain a good quality life if you're having bad thoughts or if your thoughts are, if you're just not happy, you know, and that's the thing is trying to find like those thoughts that those, all those negative thoughts that bounce around in your head, try to find a way to say, how can I fix those? How can I fix those negative thoughts? Because is it is it because you're unhappy with your spouse, your job, you know, a situation? What is it? What's the root cause of that? Because once you start getting your head full of happier thoughts, you will live a happier life. And that's what that's really saying. The happiness of your life depends on the quality of your thoughts. So just some food for thought. Again, you can interpret it, uh, interpret it how you want to interpret it. Um, but that's just my thoughts on the quote of the day. But hopefully that helps you. Hopefully that helps you and gives you some, some more to think about. All right, guys, we will see you in the video tomorrow, day 106 tomorrow. I can't believe these, these days, man. It just seemed like just recently we were just starting this journey. But I love it. All right, guys. Bye.